Welcome back to Factorio MSX Gigabase. Right, so last time we were finalizing plans around our revised uh, oil and if, uh, yeah, our revised oil processing. And if you notice, I have now added in, um, well, I've named all of these stations appropriately. I have added in stackers, I have added um, some oil. The ones that we talked about previously, I didn't put them into an episode because obviously we have uh, recently done oil when we added oil up uh, way up here for this original oil. So these three are intended for this one, the third one being down here of course. Uh, three oil, three oil uh, trains, all of which are probably, that one needs a radar obviously. Um, this one. That one needs a radar as well. This one has a radar. Uh, I'm guessing that it is probably full. It is 600k. Um, so the oil is good to go. But um, I mean, the main thing that we want out of this, especially at the moment, is plastic. And that, of course, needs coal. So we'd need to divert some coal here. But if you notice, um, well, what I've been noticing at least is that this coal area is constantly uh, devoid of trains and in fact oil 2 is, uh, is the request over here for the inputs to oil and um, that's basically saying that there is more demand for coal than is currently uh, coming through uh, to supply this um, oil processing let alone having any extra to supply this one and that's hardly surprising if we look at some of the patches. Uh, this excess patch here is down to, uh, well, basically say 400,000 between all of these little pieces that are still holding out, um, which is very little and hard to, um, just a second, okay. And back, so yes, um, we are seeing quite a significant depletion of these uh, supplies, uh, not just of copper, but also of the coal. I think this was about 15 million when we first started, but now, it, as you can see, it's down to under half of that. This coal up here is also uh, significantly shrunk. Um, and so... Um, obviously they have less ability to supply uh, the trains than what they had previously and that could be part of our uh, supply issue over a minute. We are getting 13,000 plastic but it's sort of dropping off a little bit and of course that's impacting uh, the amount of reds perhaps that are getting produced. Well, certainly it doesn't look like with no trains here and no trains in the time that we've been running this episode, no ability to expand uh, the coal to allow this one to uh, come into its own. So, um, what we're trying to do is fix up these mines as much as possible. Bring this one on, uh, online. I have actually laid down some... Uh, track here, but we need to do a bit of work to get it over to the main line. Um, and we were also looking at fixing up, for example, the um, the copper here. Uh, there are the odd bits, patches of copper that, for one reason or another, uh, weren't ta um, tapped in the manner that they probably should have been and so there's an opportunity for some additional miners to be brought in to do just that. Just have to make sure that everything is still covered and there's a bit over here. So it's not so much that we need a whole lot of additional uh, robo ports but we do want to make sure that we are covering everything put one there and one there should cover this one adequately now if we can just get that 
Uh, I think that is all the copper that we needed to cover there. Now, I know also that, um, well, we don't really need these turrets anymore, but the coal um, that, was, that was done with the sparse pattern did in fact have the odd um, gap in coverage. So we need to uh, ensure that uh, all of it is covered. Which we are endeavouring to do now. So if we put that there, that will cover those, and we need uh, need a couple of power poles to cover out the rest of the the distance. Um, yeah, I, the coverage obviously I didn't absolutely guarantee the whole thing here was covered when it was first set up because um, it seemed like all the coal in the world when it was first set up but clearly we have got to a point where that's no longer the case actually let's move that so that these are um, I should probably just lay down a pattern for this but never mind don't need that gun anymore. Um, I was thinking it wasn't actually so much. We do need some things. Um, mainly, we need some robo ports to ensure coverage to this area. So that's basically how the sparse. Um, oh and we actually have one more there that's going to need coverage. Um, probably doing myself a disservice at the moment by. Uh, yeah, definitely using a pattern would have made this a bit faster, but never mind. Um, a disservice by doing this manually rather than. Oh, and I'm out of red boxes. I didn't actually expect that. Uh, right, let's ensure that we have the coverage that we need then. Um, there's probably some off to the side that are less important. Uh, these guys here are not powered. That's what their issue is, which is different to what the others were experiencing. actually closer than it was supposed to be but it doesn't matter um, yeah, that's all powered up is there anywhere that is missing no there's not um, let us get the sparse mining patterns that's the full one um, come down to that is there a long ways one well, we could employ this one in this direction. Um, oh, and we do need to move this guy. Now somewhat in the way. Um, oh, we will need to try and get a robo port up here. Has that covered it? No, it hasn't. Now I think it has. There is a bit of green there, but I don't think any of the boxes are there. It doesn't look like it. So let's just get rid of the excess around here. Um, a few more stamp downs. Uh, it will have to wait until we actually grab a few more miners and uh, 
passive chests out of our in fact let's bring the train engineering train down to what's this one called here hashtag iron 3 okay that's where we need to go um, is that sitting in here already? 5-3, yes it is. I don't have them all sitting there, it's just the ones that um, I've been using, and I guess because I set up so much around here, I use that quite a lot. At one point in time, we haven't actually used it at all during the series, I don't think, but um, obviously I did when I was first setting up some of these mines. Um, unfortunately, our... Uh, in a way, unfortunately, our rubbish train is so efficient that um, it tends to uh, successfully clear all of the, the miners as they have been, um, well, the material underneath them has expired, the, they get moved to the rubbish uh, stop and um, removed, or do they in fact? Uh, we actually have 250 miners here sitting in a supply chest, so I actually could probably use them because I've obviously foreshortened the network so it doesn't stretch up quite as far as um, I guess it used to. go there for a second, we'll probably can get rid of that, um, put these miners down again, we will need that robo port here, uh, okay, there's one over there, and it does actually look like we are needing a, actually if we go there, we get it we go there we get it so that's what we will do uh, we get the miners that were up there and lacking coverage they get into a position where they get coverage so that would seem to pretty much complete our coverage of coal except maybe here that can actually go that way those so yes that has probably improved coal a bit um, it could probably do with additional additional logistic robots now but um, I don't really want to give it any so I'm not going to I want to pretend to myself that it can operate efficiently enough without more robots. So that will just drain UPS and we do not wish to do that. Okay, that one looks fine. So let's go back to where we were and see if we can finish off this new mining. Um, we still don't have any coverage there. Um, how are the requests going? Uh, it has actually been answered, but there's no backup. So um, this will just be supplying here. Then the plan is to bring additional coal online for this test bed. And remember, this is just a test bed. This is not going to be where the new oil will be located. In fact, because it is modular, this is one of probably 12, maybe even more of these designs. Um, we will potentially say have, because there's some oil here, we might have say four here. We might rip this one out and put maybe four here even. Um, I certainly was thinking in terms of, because this is a nice flat surface, putting say four here, and then we'd be tapping um, oil. Is that oil? No. There's a little bit there, but it's more this one and this one and this one that I was aware of, although that's not very much. Um, maybe this one. That's certainly um, three oils. That's quite significant, the amount that's there. I was hoping to find some more down here, but we haven't 
just as yet because oil is quite scarce on this map um, but that's okay but in terms of coal we have some coal way out here but I still want to clear the interior first there's a big chunk there there is actually a coal um, here that we have we already have the platforms for but we have not tapped that coal so that coal plus um, we can probably go up and access this coal maybe that oil might be worthwhile especially if we've driven a line up here anyway but if we attack those two sources of coal we could then perhaps have another coal weight here um, and send it down here. There's also this coal here, another 23 million, um, a small one out to the side, um, this coal that will be in the way, which uh, we need to get access to as well. And just a moment. So, um, yes, we'll go back up to uh, this coal which is clearly in the way if we're going to clear out all this area we need to move this coal out of the way so let's go back up there and try and finish off this um, piece of infrastructure which is copper six hashtag copper six um, which I'm fairly sure I have there yes I do it is interesting that our long-term usage of resources so far seems to be more copper than iron. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and here we are. So let's get underway. Um, Do we have... No, we don't have any rail. We need rail. Let's run back up and get some rail. Uh, what else? Might We might be missing some of those and those. Okay, it's got any issues fitting the wooden. Well, let's make sure we use up some of our rail. That will give us a little bit more space. If you can hear a printer going in the background, that's just my daughter. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come through particularly loudly. <laughs> it's all good. Doing all of that, let's set this up as our next coal. But before we do, let's get rid of these trees that are getting right in my way. I'm selecting trees instead of train stops. So you are our next coal, uh, which would be coal five. And we will copy that across to these others. Very good. Uh, we are out of these sorts of resources. Uh, more tree clearance. Fortunately, we are now invoking one of the rubbish stops, so it's pretty easy to clear out uh, excessive amounts of tree foliage. But the thing I do need to be a bit careful of is we're very close to this network up here. In fact, I may even move some of the roboports so that they are not within the same uh, coverage zone because I definitely do not want these two to uh, meet um, the two um, networks we want this one to work and that's partly why the platforms have been put on this side uh, it's to ensure that it's well out of the way of this one because you can imagine those train stops would come way up here somewhere so if we run up here the rubbish stop which um, this one is um, should 
clear all this wood for us. We don't even have to pollute our engineering train with it. And there you have it. I've probably left a trail of uh, bots in my wake, unfortunately, but um, even from down here, as it is added to me, they will be removed, and there, in fact, is the rubbish train. Clearing these supplies for us. We have 100 bots on us, so there's another 19 or so to come back. Should be it. So let's get back down here. Clear the rest of the trees. Now this one I am definitely going sparse. I think sparse is the only way um, forward at this point in terms of the mining layouts. Um, if it turns out that we're not getting uh, the mining happening at the rate that we need, um, I will put speed modules in, but um, as we start cranking out uh, productivity in the mining, we will find that we need the dense pack less and less, so uh, we may as well now get into the habit of how we want to continue. and. Oh, we need more tree clearance. Uh, how we want to continue, which is to go with the sparse to save on unnecessary entities. Which will certainly be something of a theme as we try and nursemaid our UPS. And yes, this is going to be an issue very soon, so let's just head up a little bit. We obviously need a whole lot more miners and uh, passive um, passive providers. Oh, we're full again. Let's just get back up to this network so that the rubbish trains bots can once again take care of our excess load. There are in fact, you'll notice, quite a few spare bots here. Um, this copper is certainly no longer able to um, harvest its resources at a rate that will seriously deplete this. In fact, do I have any speed modules on me? I don't think so. Right, we are clear. We don't have all of our own bots though. Here come some. And the little army. I guess we can just grab them as they come by. Yep, that's all of them. Um, I needed to pick up some more stuff though. Oh yes, their construction bots are within the construction range, which is the green one of course, to do some of the work for us. But there aren't very many construction bots here, so that won't actually help that much. Um, might need some more of those, I'm not sure. Okay, let's come back through here. ones. None of this appears to be particularly well powered at the moment. Um, it kind of looks like all of those miners have, have already been exhausted. But that's okay. Quick save. 
Oh, auto trash. Right, that could be why the miners exhausted so quickly. Is there anything else in there that's not something I want to get rid of? No, perhaps not. So we do have some extra mines. Put at least one down. Um, now, yes, somewhere round about here, we actually want to put the corner piece in, but I'm not exactly sure uh, where yet. I guess I want to drill through here and find a suitable connection um, in the main line. Um, this is getting tedious, so let's add to our charging capacity. That should make it slightly less tedious. Um, I could put a four-way there, but I'd probably rather just put a hole here or even just above there. Maybe just below would be better. Uh, we are running out of room yet again. And yet again, I'm cursing having all of these blueprints because I haven't taken the time out to... Um, reduce them down since every time I do a build I seem to manage to make a whole lot of extras and not clear them out at quite the same rate okay let's let this wood go onto the uh, rubbish train or get ready for the rubbish train to collect it at least You need to do this faster. I don't think this episode we're going to have time to start setting up the coal down below. I was hoping to see the results of our additions. That looks like it's all. This is probably why the other one didn't get completely covered in miners first up, because I, um, you know, built the rail infrastructure rather than uh, keeping my concentration solely on that part. And the batteries charged quite vigorously from just sitting there, so or our casual jog down here. We're really getting too many connections in here, but um, let's just see if I can find a suitable. So yeah, I think um, I'll just slap that guy in there. We don't want to change that from chain, so we'll leave that one so this won't overwrite it with anything useless like it was threatening to. Um, I'm not actually sure if we had enough. No, I think we need more chain signals. In addition to obviously at least we're not standing on the track this time. Um, obviously needing to clear some trees again. That was saying 
only one, but I think that was just because we'd moved on a little bit from uh, where we needed to be. So chain signals, let's get all of those. Um, miners are already up to here. In fact, it looks a lot like we are going to run out of miners. Um, Alright, let's try that. certainly some room for pruning here. Um, we may need another miner just there. No. Guess not then. dog up here that should lay down quite a few of these. Uh, and this is kind of why the supply train is so good because we can just tell it the exact number that we need and it will have enough but we look like we are going to run short but never mind. As long as we can get the rail infrastructure in place um, we can always come back. Refill the engineering train that is, and come back. So I think at that, at this point, that's all we are going to do is uh, get our good rail, our so-called good rail. Uh, add it in there. tell me it's not going to do anything because there's no room to put the stupid wood so we've got 25 bots here that could pick some rail up what exactly is their problem why don't they want to do that here we go chance to drop this wood back in anywhere but we will eventually make inroads on our supply of rail and at that point there should be a little bit of room for a bit of additional wood bit close. Uh. So I'll need to come back with a little landfill. Fill up that, connect this up, get some trains in here. Um, get some power happening, fill out the rest of this. Still a few little things to go. I might finish it up and then uh, show you if it appears to have had the desired result. So I will rejoin you very shortly. And back and um, yeah so here's the results 
We actually have uh, coal trains here waiting now. We have uh, no open requests for coal trains. Um, the coal production per minute has skyrocketed. Uh, red circuits has gone right back up to 10,000 a minute. Uh, plastic is stuck at this 14k mark, so it would seem that's probably roughly where it's going to lie, and that is probably putting the upper cap on red circuits at the moment. Um, here's another train coming out, or we'll probably join these ones. Um, quite possibly we now have too many trains in here. Um, if we come over here, what are these? Are these coal trains? We've got a couple of coal trains waiting. Uh, Oil 3U is not even asking for a coal train. So plastic is doing all it can in its unsped up state. Um, so I guess those stats are as good as we're going to get. We probably can share some of these coal trains uh, down here before um, totally relying on these other options. But that's going to have to do us for this time. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that and um, next time with a bit of luck we will um, I guess we'll implement these two immediately, quite possibly this one. I'll do some of that offline to accelerate things because I really do want to start this test as soon as possible uh, and then start rolling out our new um, oil that has no barrels and only needs a limited number of bots in comparison to what we've done before. Uh, actually, I obviously need to complete this bit as well, so there's still a couple of minor tweaks involved there, but it's mainly just getting the coal supply in place. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.